Hey, this is your girl, BB from the streets, bringing you all that tea. Recently, Candace Owens was on The Breakfast Club. And I watched that whole episode, and I listened to all the things she had to talk about. But one situation came up now that came to play, which was Candace was let go. They said, fired, I don't know if she left. Their relationship is no more at the Daily Wire. But I'm wondering if what Candace said on The Breakfast Club the other morning is a reason why they let her go. Listen to what she had to say. Um, I love the way that you and Ben Shapiro are able to disagree, but then I guess still have a business relationship. Because I saw him recently tell you, well, this was, I think it was maybe a few months ago, he told you to quit over your, uh, over your Israel coverage, your, your Palestine-Israel coverage. Yeah. What was that about? Well, he told me, well, the, the tweet that he responded to was actually just some biblical passages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he thought that it was me saying that I had to choose money over the day. I don't, I don't know how we interpret it, but it was, it was definitely not. I just meant it as like, you know, peace, calling for peace because, you know, there was a video circulating of him calling me a disgrace or in a faux professional or whatever yep. it was. And I decided to choose peace. And then when I chose peace, he responded to the peace with not, not peace. <laughs> so why wouldn't he just fire you? Well, as I explained on Tucker Carlson's show, like Ben doesn't have the power to fire me. Um, and it's not even saying that we disagree on Israel and Palestine. I just think that he's obviously, his wife is Israeli. Mm -hmm. um, he spends a lot of time in Israel throughout the year. I think when you have an emotional attachment to some place that sometimes your, your reaction to anything is going to be more extreme to it, you know? I have some relatives that are from St. Thomas. If what was happening in that region was happening in St. Thomas, I would probably be the most fired up out of everybody at the Daily mm -hmm. Wire. Um, and yeah, he definitely went through, I think, an emotional time at the end of last year, you know, dealing with everything. I think I was pretty even keel. I don't want to see innocent Palestinians killed. I don't want to see innocent Israelis killed. Mm -hmm. I never want to see children killed. Mm -hmm. I don't believe children should have to grow up in a war zone based on the actions of a few. And that, I guess, last year sounded crazy. <laughs> it sounded crazy because always the demand in all these situations is to make people pick a side. And then if you don't pick their side, then you get smeared and you get libeled, right? So if you don't say, I want every Palestinian murdered, then suddenly you're pro Hamas. If you don't say like, I want every Israeli person eradicated, you know, then suddenly you're pro apartheid, whatever the arguments are. And I think both of that is extreme. You said no government anywhere has a right to commit a genocide ever. There is no justification for genocide. Yeah. That, that is going to age so well. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Genocide is always wrong. It is, guys. It, mm -hmm. is, it is always yeah. wrong. Um, and doesn't matter at any point in human history, any person that is advocating for genocide is always in the wrong. And when I wrote that tweet, I was referring to Brian Mast, who was a congressman. He got up and he literally said in Congress that there's no such thing as an innocent Palestinian. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that is genocidal. I hope this isn't the reason why Candace got fired or the relationship was fractured for her at her job. When they brought up the topic about Ben Shapiro and, you know, them being able to debate and have their differences, you can tell when she had to answer that question, she was uncomfortable about it because she said she's just trying to do peace with peace. But when you think about it, what she said is actually true. There's no reason why anyone should be getting killed, and you should want peace. But it's like, I'm wondering if he wants her to pick a side because she said his wife is Israeli, and she's just saying in general that we shouldn't be fighting, like they shouldn't be fighting. There's no reason why innocent civilians should be getting hurt, and that goes for the adults and the children, especially the children. You cannot condemn a whole race for a few which is true. If they said she got fired for anti-Semitic comments, what were they? Because I didn't see them publish any and I didn't hear him say anything. She was just giving her opinion on what it should be. It should be peace on both sides. But let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment down below, hit like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell.